Morning. So we're going to be doing a bit of helping out today. Um, now, if you remember, the guy I did the spraying for, I did a, a spraying job a few weeks ago. Um, his name's Zach. He owns a farm that's over that way. Um, we are, we're going to be helping out the, the landowner of this field here. Now, he, he's undergone a bit of bad fortune in the last few weeks. His combine went down about a month ago. And in the process of him trying to fix it, he gave himself quite a nasty injury as well. So, as a result of both of those things, he has not been able to get himself into his fields and get uh, doing what he needs to do. And this field has obviously gone bad. It's withered. It's, I think it's a field of canola. Um, but as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, well past it. Completely withered. So, uh, I'm going to run my big plow, the 2410. And I'm going to also run the cultivator. Zach's got a big lime spreader. He's going to run that. Uh, and then we're going to get some seed into the ground for him. And, uh, and essentially just bring this field back up to where it needs to be helping out and all that so that's going to be the first chunk of today's work it's going to there's a good few hours going to be in that isn't there so uh but i'm just having a quick wander down to clever motors because a few days ago i sent my truck in for paint you all know it was looking a bit sorry for itself it was covered in stone chips and it was the paint was flaking off in places it was quite badly damaged and i didn't want anything to rust uh, obviously i know i uh, i didn't intend i didn't go out of my way to buy the truck it came as the bundle with all the stuff that i bought um but I've got it now, so I need to look after it. I don't want it to rust away. So I've sent it to Joe. He is—he's—he's uh, he's painted it for me. Um, I don't know what's down there? Um, yeah, he's put a coat of paint on it for me. I don't actually know what colour it's going to be either, because I've told him to surprise me. Um, he, had, he he phoned me yesterday to say it was all ready, um, and that I might be quite pleasantly surprised. So we're going to get ourselves down there. And that's why I'm on foot because I can't drive there and pick it up because I'll have something there to pick up all the time if I carry on doing that. So, yeah, um, let's get ourselves over there and see what's what. Right, here we are. I am very grateful for, for living not too far away from here, I must be honest, because if this was a good journey away, this would be a nightmare having to do stuff like this. But we're here, so let's go and have a look to see what he's got in stock, actually. Oh, hey, there it is. Oh, he's got it. He's done it blue. And it seems to have some kind of vinyl decal on it, is that? I'm not too sure. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Wow. Oh, no, it's not. It's airbrushing. That's painted. Oh, hey. I like that. I'm really happy with that. Wow, Joe. And he's properly cleaned. He's painted the tanks and everything. The chassis had a coat of paint. Oh, I'll tell you what. Look at that. Very happy with that. Wow. So, what's he got in stock? Oh, goodness me, look at that. Batman Steiger. Look at this. Wow, they've gone the full hog with the black paint with this, haven't they? Wheels, chassis, body, even tinted the windows jet black as well. And it's a 620, so that's a beast. Wow. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like that. Goodness me. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's an old thing and all. A John Deere WA-14. I don't think I've ever heard of one of them. That's old. I mean, I've got no idea, but... 70s maybe, give or take, I'm not too sure. It's clean. Got some beastly tyres on it. Wow, that's nice. Don't see many of these things around either. T9. The big brother to my old T7, eh? That's nice. Woof! <laughs> Look at the size of that. Do you know what? I'm hazarding a guess to say combined, that's almost a million dollars worth of kit sitting here. Wow. Must be in for some work. That's not for sale, looking at the state of it. That's been busy. <laughs> Very nice, though. Oh, I am partial to a big fent, I must admit. Very nice indeed. 8R410, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Oh, and a big X9, that's obviously in for some work, in it? 
Look at the size of that. It's absolutely massive. Like it. Like it. Right, well, let's uh, pop in and see Joe. We'll settle up for this. And we'll take it home. Oh, I do love that. That's a beautiful blue, isn't it? And he's kept the engine block red inside, so yeah, that looks right, that. And he's polished the chrome for me and everything. Lovely. Right, let's pop in, settle the bill, and I'll see you in a few. Right, bill settled, money spent. But money well spent, if you ask me. Oh, it even smells nice. Oh, this is at a proper clean. Way better than I've ever done in here. Right. Oh, I'm happy with this. Oh, Right, okay, so let's get this thing home. Get it parked away in the garage. And I think first things first, we are going to get in the big uh, in the big John Deere with the triples. And we'll get the plough into uh, into that field. I'll give uh, give Zach a call, tell him I'm on my way with the, with the plough. He's not going to be able to do anything anyway till I've done the ploughing and the uh, and the cultivating. But, um, yeah, I'll let him know that I'm on my way to do that. So, here we go. It looks nice looking out over a nice shiny new blue bonnet as opposed to a knackered, chipped up red thing. Need to give Amos a call, actually, thinking about it. Right, anyway, see you back at the farm. Right, before we uh, before we get busy doing anything, I need to feed the dog. I forgot to stick some food in his bowl before I came out for me wander, didn't I? There we go. I'm sure he'll sniff it out. <laughs> right. Let's get this thing away. I'm going to stick it back where it was before. But yeah, and then we will uh, we'll dig out the John Deere with the plough. In fact, let's whip this round here now like that. Should be right, I think. Let's open the door. There we go. There's that one. And get the big one open actually while we're here. This one's going to be busy today. Now, as you will see, I've done a bit of rearranging. I'll show you all this before I stick the truck in here. Um, now, obviously, as you might remember from the last uh, video I made, things were looking a bit tight in here. Once I had, uh, when I had everything in here, including the grain, the Demco grain cart parked on the other side. When I had the 9620 here, the uh, 9RX, and this all parked up, I just couldn't move, could I? So what I've done, I have put the uh, spreader, the fertilizer spreaders, in the other shed. This thing just fits. Look at that. If I get underneath. You literally inch perfect <laughs> it's the only way it'll fit in here and I'm not exaggerating when I say it is literally inch perfect the door just misses the front of the weight on this uh, on this 9630 so that it works it'll do for now I've just got to be very careful when I park it up but uh, yeah if I just take a quick uh, a quick jog around here and I'll show you in here it's not much different don't get me wrong it's nothing too exciting by any means but, uh, yeah, I've stuck the spreader in here. Everything's had a clean, the things that were dirty anyway. Um, yeah, it sits quite well, I think. It fits just about. i going to have to dig this out today as well. That's going to be working, isn't it? But we'll do that in a bit. i put the stone picker here. The baler's gone back over to the... Oh, I did that in the last video, didn't I? Yeah, the baler's back over at the cow barn. Uh, these, this lot is just where it was. Nothing's changed with them. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that's that. I'll just I'll leave that door open. I'm going to be going in there at some point. So I'm going to get this truck in here first. We'll get this done, and we'll pull the uh, pull the plow out. Right, that's us out of there. I think uh, I think I will just leave that running. 
It's not going to be clean for much longer. <laughs> right, there we go, yeah. Truck's back in the shed. That look, it really does look good though, doesn't it, don't you think? Really happy with that. Nice to have something that's not green in here, I guess. Right, well, we'll, we'll close that door down. Let's close that one down. Right, so, let's get ploughing. Perfect timing. No traffic coming, so it gives me the room to swing out and pull in. I guess I don't need to worry about destroying the crop either. It's already destroyed. There we go. And do you know what? Let's get this thing folded out. Oh, let's watch that lamp post. Oh, that was close. <laughs> right. So, it's quite a big field, this. This might take a, a good few minutes at least. <laughs> so, I'll pick you all back up in a wee while when this job's done. to paradise.
mine Right, we're just getting this last bit finished off now, and then that's the first job done. Oh, and here's Zach now pulling into the field. Perfect timing. Look at that. And he has got a big lime spreader, hasn't he? Goodness me. That'll do. No wonder he wanted me to get my uh, fertilizer spreader out the other week. If that was full of lime. Oh, cracking. There we go. Teamwork, people. Teamwork. There we go, right. We'll have this done in no time. And another boosty bonus. I've just, uh, he did actually give me a call a few few, a few moments ago. That case um, cedar planter thing that we saw over at the uh, at Joe's place at Clever Motors, that's Zach's. So he's going to get that running in this field. He's going to do the seeding. Um, it, it was just, it was just in for a few, uh, a few sensors on the uh, on the planter itself, and they've been done. It's sitting there ready for him to pick up. So. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this done now. I think that's pretty much us finished now with the ploughing. There we go. Last bit. Excellent. Let's get that lifted up. Get it folded up. Yep, let's get it folded up. And get out of here before we get in, uh, get in Zach's way. Although he's all the way around there now, so we'll be alright. But yeah, it's done a good job in here as well. He has dragged up a few stones again, but you know what? Considering what we're doing, he'll be fine, I think, for now. As long as we get a crop in the ground for him. That's the main uh, task of today. So, let's get us out of the field. We'll go this way for now. I know this is the long way around, but... Uh, Hey-ho. Right, let's get ourselves home. We're going to... I think I'm going to run the 9RX with the uh, with the Landolt today. So... We're going to grab ourselves a bite to eat. We'll get hooked up with an RX and the Landolt, and we'll we'll get back out here, and hopefully by that point, Zach will be done liming. Tell you what, this is so much easier now. I've got a bit of room in here. It really is. There we go. I reckon that'll do us. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty. Right, turn off. Let's check how, f how much space I had behind that. Oh, plenty. Plenty. Right, so, yeah, we're going to run the 9RX. I'm going to need to... Before I do that, in fact, I can disconnect this first. Let's get that thing off there. But uh, I need, I'm going to need to dig out the 82 and the 84 tank because they're both blocking the land all in. So uh, I'll have to just pull them out of here for now. I'll just leave them outside. So, yeah, let's... Uh, Jump in this, get it out of the way, come on, hey up, oh, a deer, I'll just stick this on the grass here for now, there's one, right, and now this one. Where am I going to put this? I'll stick it outside the shop here for now. It's as good a place as any. Excellent. Right. Oh, we're going in you again today. I do love this thing. What a machine. Right, am I definitely, uh, definitely disconnected? Yeah, I think I am. Right. Let's see how this fares with the Landol. Although I'm pretty sure it should be absolutely fine. I can't imagine it's going to have any kind of a problem whatsoever. Let's get her hitched up. That was a bit wonky, isn't it? Can't have that. Uh, right, that should be about right. There we go. 
green and blue today. In fact, have I got enough room here? I'm not going to catch that, am I? No, no. Right, good stuff. So that's that bit done. I think Zach's got at least half an hour ahead of him there, so I'm just going to uh, just going to pull up here very quickly. Turn off for a few minutes. I'm going to go and grab myself a sandwich, and I'll be back in a wee while. Right, sandwich scoffed. Let's get ourselves back out there, shall we? See if we can time it as well as Zach timed it when I was uh, just finishing off, shall we? Right, off we go. Well, looks like we haven't timed it quite as well as I'd have hoped. He's still got a few more minutes left in the field, but by the looks of things, it's not going to be not going to be long before he's done. And I reckon I'll be able to jump in and crack on without getting in his way. I do like his eight, his eight uh, RX though. Right. So let's. Uh, where's he going to be? We're finishing there, or I think he's got a patch at the other end of the field to finish off first, though, so we'll uh, let's get ourselves here, let's get unfolded. There we go. And we'll just hang on a minute here for him to finish this row so we really don't get in his way. There we go. Watch him at work for a minute or two, can't we? Bit of footage on the camera. Make sure I don't get myself sprayed with lime, though. <laughs> there we go. Nice work, mate. Nice work. Now, hopefully he's going to hang a right here. Nope. A left. Am I in your way there, pal? No, no. Good stuff. Where are you going? Right, anyway. That's pretty cool. Right. Let's get this thing working. Drop it down. Right, we'll crack on with this. And I'll, uh, I'm going to pick the camera back up in a wee while when this job's done. Right, that's us all done. Get that folded up. Job done. Now, Zach will be here any minute now, and I've asked him if he can, if he wouldn't mind, just to jump straight into it, because I want to catch this uh, unfolding of this machine in all of its theatre. It should be here somewhere, I think. Here he is. What a beast. Wow, he's tonking it, isn't he? <laughs> but yeah, I want to catch this thing unfolding. What a thing. Wow. Look at that. It's massive. I thought I had a big cedar. This thing would do my fields in about 10 minutes. Oh, a bit dusty. Goodness me, that goes some, doesn't it? That's amazing. He's going to be done in no time. Oh, that's a, that's a just... Sorry, <laughs> I'm repeating myself. Yeah, that's awesome. Love it. Right, well, we'll let him crack on. 
And uh, yeah, we'll pick the camera back up in a wee while when this job is finished. Right, well, while Zach's busy in the field there getting that job done, um, I'm just, I've just brought this thing back home. I'm going to load it back into the garage here, into the shed, um, and get us all tidied away. Now, I have got my, my big grass field needs to be done still. I've got to, uh, got to get that drilled, but uh, I'm not going to bother doing that today. Um, the rain's due to come. The reason why we, me and Zach have been rushing around a little bit today, getting things done quite quickly, is uh, we've actually got some rain due. Uh, it's been forecast for about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock this afternoon. So, that's why we've been uh, going at it as we have been. But we're going to get this thing tidied away in here. I reckon that'll do there, just for now. It does need a clean, but I'm not doing that now. Let's drop that off. There we go. We'll go stick this back in the uh, back in the other shed over there. We'll put the 82 and the 84 away, back where they belong. Now, I was, just, I was having a chat with Zach on the phone before, actually, while he was on his way to the field. Um, now nah, we'll just go in this way. This will do for now, I think. There we go. Excellent stuff. Let's get this door closed off. Yeah, I was having a chat with him on the phone. Um, we, were just, we were just chatting away, you know. Um, and I told him that I had that Dodge over in the garage over there. And he perked up and said, Oh, I've got a bit of a car collection myself. He said, Come and have a look. So I'm a bit intrigued now. He, he's, uh, he's not told me what he's got, but... Um, he did tell me that he does. He also has a charger as well, but he said um, he said if I wanted, when he has finished doing that field, I can. Uh, I'm going to go and meet him over there essentially when he's done, uh, follow him back to his place, um, and he's going to show me around his little uh, collection of cars, which I'm quite quite keen to have a look at. He says it's quite a wide range of stuff. That's all he really said, which is uh, it's got me intrigued more than anything. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So what's next? Yeah, we'll just we'll stick the 84 back in here, and then that's us pretty much tidied up for the day. We're not really going to get much done today anymore. Um, I think we've we've done our good deed for the day, as it were, helping somebody out, getting their field drilled for him. His harvester should be fixed in the next couple of weeks, apparently, with the parts on the way. So uh, he'll be able to. Once that, once those soybeans are done, which is a, a good few months away, there we go. He'll be right for sorting them himself. Right, so let's close that one up. Decent. Right, so I'll um, I'll wait for my phone call from Zach to tell me he's almost done, and we'll go and meet him over at the field very soon. Right, there he goes. Job done. He's done a real good job in here as well. He really has. But the farmer will be very happy because we pulled him out of a right sticky situation, haven't we? He's got a withered crop all gone and he's got a fresh uh, fresh field of soybeans growing now. All limed, fertilised, ploughed, cultivated, the full shebang. So, right, anyway, let's catch up to Zach and let's go and have a bit of an oogle at his, uh, his car collection, shall we? Here we are. This is Zach's farm. Wow. That's a nice truck. <laughs> right, I will... Where shall I stick this? Um, I'll just stick it around here so it's not in the way of his tractor and then... Here we'll do just fine, I think, hopefully. Right, I'll go and have a word with him. And we'll see what's going on. So he's just handed me the keys to the workshop. Um, he's got to go in and make, make a few phone calls. So he's handed me the keys to this workshop that's around the corner. But he said to have a... He's not got much here at the minute. The X9 as well that was over at Joe's, that's his. That's him for a bit of repair. But obviously we've seen the um, we've seen the 8RX and the line spreader. He's got this beautiful John Deere forage harvester. I think he does a, he does a quite a bit of work with corn. Um, obviously we've seen that. That's a beast. And he's got a couple of things around here in, in this little shed. He said, "Oh, nice. There's the header for the uh, for the X9. 
Looking slightly cleaner than the X9 itself. 745 FD. And he's got an 1167 with a nice grain trailer there. Very nice indeed. That's pretty clean. Yeah. Anyway, we're here to see some cars. Oh, that must be the workshop there, eh? Uh, how do we get around there? Here it is. That's a nice little workshop, this, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, wow. A collection? Oh, this is a thing of beauty. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's right, wasn't he? It's, uh, it's quite a wide range of stuff. What's that? A Hummer. A H... Jeez. A H1. Look at that. <laughs> Goodness me. That's a beast. Oh my word. Now, being from uh, being from the UK, I know exactly what this thing is. This is a homologation Peugeot 205 T16. Obviously, Peugeot wanted to go rallying in, in the 80s in Group B, and then they had to make uh, 200 versions of the rally car. This is one of them. Clearly, how on earth did he get his hands on this? I mean, it looks genuine. There's a lot of uh, replicas around these days, but... Wow. Yeah, that really does look genuine. What a thing. That is gorgeous. 205s were ever in the UK, but the T16, I've never seen one in the flesh. Seen a few on the old telly. Back in the eighties, watching the watching the rallying, but it's even got the light pods as well, the full kit. That's a thing. Good lord, what's that? I know it's obviously I know it's a Ferrari, but I couldn't tell you what it is, what model it is. They all look the same to me. These uh, modern stuff. I don't know, four eight eight is it? I'm not too sure. Very nice though. Oh my word, an RWB. So does that mean that Nakai-san has actually been over here to this part of the world to build this car? Because the, I think it's based on a, a 930 turbo, I think. So, and Rao Welt is a body kit. It's fabricated by one man, uh, a Japanese guy called uh, Akira Nakai, and he comes over. If you want to be a customer of his, you get in touch and he will come over in person and fit your car out with a body kit in your place of living, wherever. He doesn't have a business as, as per se a workshop or anything. He comes to you. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> and that's pretty special, isn't it? Again, no idea what it is. Some kind of rat rod, hot rod thing, but it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at the exhaust, how short the exhausts are and the manifolds. I bet that makes an absolute racket. And what have we got here? A Boss 302. Wow. That's beautiful. It's absolutely immaculate. It really is. And what we got over here, a bit of a trifecta of movie cars. He really does, does have a Dodge, doesn't he? He's got the General Lee. Goodness me. And he's got Roscoe's chase car, hasn't he? His police car. Or I think... Is that a Caprice, I think? I don't know if Roscoe's was a Caprice or not. I can't remember, but... Uh, either way, that doesn't matter. And the Bandit. Ha <laughs> ha! What a thing. To have all three of the... Oh, I suppose all he, all he needs is the 18 van and kit, and then he's got the full set, hasn't he? And maybe Airwolf hanging off the ceiling, although they may snap. <laughs> wow. What a garage. Really? He's doing all right for himself then, isn't he, Zach? If he's, I mean, I mean, there's some money here. Just in that thing alone. I, 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 obviously, it's a beautiful thing. I, I'm, I'm into my cars. Ferraris are gorgeous. I know they are. I bet it's face-peelingly fast. But I'd rather have that. Or the General Lee. Or that. They've just got more soul. Especially that. Look at that. That's amazing. And a random Chevy, I think? Panel van, is it? I'm, I'm not too sure. But these are everywhere in the States, aren't they? In fact, that looks like the one that's out of Robocop. If any of you are uh, a similar age to me, 
You'll recognise that from Robocop. It's even got the sliding doors and everything. Wow. What a collection. That's a beast, isn't it? What a thing. Well. He wasn't messing around, was he, when he said, come and have a look at my small collection of cars? What a collection. I'm very impressed. Really, really impressed. And this as well. Anyone of my age who was into movies and TV shows like that will lust after a General Lee. And he's got one right here. And the Bandit, to be fair. Although I'm sure the Bandits was a T-top. Wasn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it was. Oh, it's close enough. Beggars can't be choosers. It's still a beautiful thing. Trans Am with the gold bird on the bonnet. And the gold wheels. Yes, yes, and more yes. Wow. Do you know what, though? If I had to pick two out of this whole collection, or even one, and I'm torn between the T16 and the RWB. For rare factor. Oh, wow. Just wow. Well, do you know what? Maybe one day if I get... if uh, Obviously, I've only just met Zach, so I ain't going to ask him if I can have a drive of any of his cars. I'm, I'm just very grateful that he's uh, given me the keys to the workshop and allowed me to come and have a bit of a look around on my own. Goodness. Lucky, lucky man. You never know. One day. Might let me have a go in one of them. It's got to be the Porsche if I do. Or the Peugeot. <laughs> oh, it's too many to choose from. I don't know. Right. That was amazing. Wow. That's an incredible collection. There's some money in there as well, to be fair. He must be he must be doing pretty well for himself over here. He's uh he's got all of them in there. He's got what looks to be a relatively brand new eleven sixty seven in here. There are a few quid. He's got an X nine being fixed at the workshop. Yeah, you don't need me to run through what he's what he's uh, what he's got and not got, you've seen. But yeah, beautiful. And this Chevy pickup truck as well. Let's go and have a little look see at that, because that looked pretty cool. Black with black wheels and the... Wow. That's a high country, I think, spec-wise. Zach's 1500. Of course it is. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, though, eh? Yeah, high country spec. Chevy 1500. High country, I think. Very, very nice. Right, anyway, he did say he was, uh, he was going to be making a few phone calls, so I don't want to disturb him too much, so I'll uh, I'll wait till I, uh, I spot him again. I'll give him back his keys, and we shall get ourselves back home. Right, we're home. We're home, and we beat the rain as well. We've done right there. The forecast gave it pretty heavy for sometime between 2 and 3 o'clock. So... Yes, and I, I know we've not actually done any work on down on my own farm today, but you know what? Helping people out, it's just... It, it, it's got a, a feeling of far more productivity to it. We've um, All I've got to do is drill my grass, so I can do that any time I want. I can do that tomorrow, I can do that next week. I can do it in a month, it's no problem at all. We've got a big backlog over in Amos's uh, fermenting silo, so the cows are going to be fine for food forever. So there's no worry about that whatsoever. But just the fact that me and Zach have met somebody new today as well, um, yeah, also, not today, I met him a few weeks ago, didn't I? But we've properly met each other now and got together, teamed up, and we've uh, we've done something good. We've helped a farmer out, we've planted a field, we've stripped a field completely of its uh, withered crop, we've ploughed, we've cultivated, we've limed, we've nitrogened, um, and we've drilled. Uh, and now the farmer has a, a fresh crop of uh, soybeans growing, so that's awesome. The well-being feeling that that brings is just, uh, you can't beat it, can you? So I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to call it here for today's video. Um, yep, yeah. and I think next video we will we are going to crack on with our grass drilling. That we've, I do have to get that done, but the, as I say, there's no immediate rush. I'll need to check on my sheep. Um, I've not checked on them for a couple of days actually after topping them up with grass the other day, but I'm sure they're fine. There was a bit of wool there that they'd produced, so we'll check that out in the next uh, when I next pick the camera up. So yeah. Anyway, I, th I hope uh, I hope everyone's enjoyed this episode, um, following me around and Zach, in, in, for that matter. Um, been a bit different, Just going and uh, oogling over a few cars in a garage, um, working on someone else's field and checking out someone else's machinery. But uh, yeah, um, in fact, I'll top uh, Max. Does Max need topping up with some food? Of course he does. 
He's a big lad. Where is he? He's got the world's most unbeatable nose. As soon as I pour food in that bowl, he's at it. Although I've, I've said that now and he won't come, will he? <laughs> Max, where are you, mate? No. Nowhere to be found. He must be well far away, having a bit of an adventure. Oh, there he is. Where the hell did you just come from? <laughs> right, anyway. I'm going to go and grab some food myself. So, I'll see you in the next episode.